keep on your mirror. <coughs> Just like in the morning, every morning, give yourself a huge smile in the mirror. Huge smile. You're looking at the mirror. Excellent. My favorite philosopher is Heraclitus, a wonderful Greek philosopher. He was the carrier of the flag of change in the universe. He says change is what brings you alive. We were told go to Palestine, to Israel. 
Israel. This is not where you go. Well, Right after 9-11, we decided to create a wall 
that welcomes you to the stairs to study in school. Alice in Wall Street. And why? Because after 9-11, it wasn't Alice in Wonderland anymore. It was a wall and a situation where all of you were invited to do something, to change the world, to impact your lives, and to really make a difference. So we started right in front of the special wall. And the fifth one is in Berlin, right by the Holocaust Memorial, right in a place of war and hate and pain. Youth of all backgrounds, Christians and Muslims and Hindu and Jews, came together to create a peace wall. And in fact, in November, I'm going on November 9th to celebrate a toast by the Peace Wall with all those who created it on the day that they are marking the fall of the Berlin Wall 25 years ago. So the youth of Berlin actually came together with so many others from around the world, youth around the world, and created this peace war. Today they call it our war, our peace war. This is in Pakistan, in Karachi, Pakistan, where I first heard about Malala. Malala is the Peace Nobel Prize winner. I see her book right here. I am Malala. And Malala is going to work with us on another piece of work around the world. You are all going to be invited to do so. So where are we? We are all a part <coughs> of the puzzle of this big, incredible, special world. And this world is ours, like our house. Where are you in that puzzle, in that house? What is it asked here? Why burn down the house we all live in? How do we burn it? In all horrible things and ways. How can we, all of us, each one of us, will bring the change that matters? the change that we all need, the change that we all want. You are all bar mitzvah kids. You know why? Because every one of you <coughs> has a duty to do something. It's no longer a free ride in the world. You are kids? Yes, continue to enjoy. Continue to Fun. But each one of you is invited to do one piece for peace and visualize to yourself and send it to us. What is a peace in your life? But also, I have made the 65 steps in the world in 65 countries. What will be your step? What will be your change? What will be the one thing that you will bring to our world? 